What's up everybody? It's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscription button and that bell notification button so you will be alerted whenever I post, okay? So this morning when I was at the gas station, there was a rooster like across the parking lot facing me and he about four times okay so I, while my gas was pumping i got back in the car and i searched up the spiritual meaning of a rooster crowing and it had various meanings but mainly it was a call for war someone who is seeking vengeance um that type of energy okay or either someone is receiving vengeance it's one of the two so I said, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know? What is the download that you want, well, the message, rather, that you want us to receive from that download that I had at the gas station this morning? 111 on the phone. What do you want us to know, Holy Spirit, about this rooster crowing strength? High Priestess. With the seven of swords so i guess someone has declared war on a high priestess here child what else holy Ooh, the holy spirit says that's the truth they've selected this particular energy because they can tell that this energy is divine okay that this high priestess is truly one with the most high so they've been consistently trying to rage war against this high priestess but this is what's happening this is the universe refusing these offers from whoever this is that wants to rage war on this high priestess okay what else holy Ooh, three of wands this is someone who is at a distance from this high priestess. Dang, all of this turned over. They are at a distance from this high priestess. Watching this high priestess have success in her life. Okay? This Ten of Pentacles talks about overall success, solid partnerships, a solid foundation, financial security, loyalty, just overall, you in good standing, okay? You most definitely are having a victory. And whoever this is that's at a distance who is raging war on this high priestess, this is their life, okay? For some reason, I feel like this three of wands is mad because of the way that this high priestess is being blessed as a result of utilizing her gift, gifts, but... You know, I tell people this all the time. You don't know what someone went through, what their dark night of the soul journey was like in order for them to get to the other side. 333 on the phone. So you can't measure what they receive, what they are given by the universe based on what you think they deserve, how you feel about them. It don't work like that. And whoever this is, in the Three of Wands and the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, they feel that way. Okay? This could be somebody that you knew as a child or when you were younger that's in this energy. Who is this, Holy Spirit? A Knight of Wands. Ass came out inverted, though. But I'm going to take it up, right? Because this is somebody who I feel like made choices with their life that has them juggling things now. And they want to project onto you because you seem stable and doing well. So now it's your fault that they having issues? Like, come on. And then they wonder why they in the Two of Pentacles. 444 was just on the clock. Look, this person... This person has been throwing some shit at this dang gone high priestess here, okay? Being real slick with it. 
trying to cause endings and transformations in this woman's life. Raging war against her, trying to cause destruction in her life. Now, I don't know why I just heard this was a damn Leo. So, I don't know what's up with that. But this person has been communicating to the universe that they want this high priestess to be impoverished, to be suffering, to be facing all type of conflict and drama in their life. This could be a masculine or a feminine. This high priestess isn't really giving me a particular gender right now. Because this could be a number of people who are in who are in this energy towards a number of high priestesses who are mad because these women are abundant. It must be a woman that we talking about. Mad because this woman is abundant and is doing well for herself, utilizing her spiritual gifts. And somebody is upset about that because they ask, can't get a good foot off the ground, constantly having issues and problems. And for some reason, they want to rage war against this person, but they ain't in no position to rage war against nobody. Okay? Because all this effort that they're trying to put in to cause this woman to be delayed is delaying them. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Tower, child. I'm trying to tell you with the four of pentacles and this high priestess is going to continue to boss up. That's just what it's going to be, okay? Whoever this is, steady trying to cause a tower, steady trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this high priestess, it's going to end up heartbroken and in the nine of swords. If they keep throwing this damn energy towards this woman, they going to be in damn regret. I don't know what people, when people going to wake up and realize what the definition of definition of insanity is. Insanity is when you continuously keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And then got the nerve to get mad and upset when you're getting the same result over and over again. This is someone who continues to do the same thing over and over again to this high priestess energy here only for them to continue to emerge as a nine of pentacles and have justice. Like this is my third reading picking up on this shit. Okay. Cause somebody not getting the message. Somebody ain't that math ain't mathing for them. They are hell bent on trying to bring this woman down to the point that they bringing themselves down. Cause God is continuing, continuing to, Balance things in this high priestess nine of pentacles favor. It's getting redundant. Page of swords. I feel like this person just. I don't know y'all. I don't know what to say. What's going to happen, Holy Spirit, if this person does not stop being obsessed with this high priestess, nine of pentacles energy, Holy Spirit? We already see what they're going through now, but that don't matter to them. That's, that's what we also see. They don't care that their world is falling apart. They just want to take this woman down. But they're not looking at how it's destroying everything around them and within them. This obsession that they have. Like, it's like, what, can we talk about something else? Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, that's, that's what's going to happen if they keep it up now. Because they can look at this woman and see that she ain't in the Ten of Swords. She ain't in the Five of Pentacles. She ain't in the Five of Wands. She ain't in the Tower. She ain't in the Four of Pentacles. She ain't in the Nine of Swords. And she ain't in the Five of Cups. That is all of this person's energy who is hell-bent on being in the Seven of Cups, Moon Energy, Knight of Wands Energy towards this High Priestess. I mean, it ain't really too much more energy to um, waste on this. Because, it, you know, like I said, it's becoming redundant. Someone, and I feel like, again, this ain't just 
one particular person, this high priestess here, and this three of wands, seven of swords energy, knight of swords energy, they are not just one particular person. These are multiple people who are in this energy. Look, the two of cups were sitting right behind this ten of swords when it flew out, and I just saw that. And that's generally what a lot of these spiritual attacks are behind, are regarding. They're, they're, they're dealing with someone who is jealous and envious of what another person has, whether that be a partnership of some kind, their abundance, their, their foundation, whatever it is, it's, it's just rooted in jealousy and envy, okay? That's why this person is going to cause their own demise because of their intention, what, why they're angry, why they're doing what they're doing. 1101 on the phone. They're setting the, the, they're turning the wheel of fate in their own life. It ain't got nothing to do with what nobody else is doing. And they're not realizing that 1111 on the phone. Okay. Anything else? Holy spirit. I'm not going to take those four cards. Let's see. Let me let me shuffle. I just cut the deck on the magician. Because, baby, you be trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. But like that song on Shrek, how that man say, people just ain't no good. Okay? This is what this is giving right here, child. You can't give people the benefit of the doubt. What's going to be the outcome? Final message. Anything else you want us to know, Holy Spirit? Six of Pentacles. I feel like the Six of Pentacles is telling this high, is a message to this high priestess to continue to give to and receive from others. Put yourself in a position to serve like you've been doing. Because that's all this woman been doing. All this woman has been doing is fulfilling her spiritual mission. And it's got somebody fucking upset. And oh the hell well. Okay? Because this woman is con going to continue to move forward and have success. And have luck in her life. I'm telling you. The, the outcome ain't going to change. Not for this divine being here not for these divine beings who have a spiritual assignment and are doing what god led them to do they are not going to be moved unless god want them to move not no person place or thing here on earth or beyond even i'm hearing because people have been calling on all kind of shit to stop these spiritual spiritually led god led energies from doing what they were assigned to do but i'm telling you they gonna be the ones being forced to move on to calmer waters okay anything else holy spirit page of pentacles eight of swords knight of pentacles two of swords devil what they are anticipating what they're hoping to achieve by attacking these people, that's not going to happen, okay? The devil is going to be unable to enforce this plan to spiritually trap, imprison, bamboozle, destroy anybody that God has put in a position to serve and be a guiding light for others, okay? So I don't know who else needs to hear that but you know i'm picking up on a number of people who are just in this vendetta war raging energy and ain't got a damn leg to stand on damn near god is trying to tell you something you know like i said it's getting redundant now and you see the energy that's going to follow if you continue the way that you're continuing that's all i can say i'm just a messenger don't get mad at me okay i live a life of normalcy I am just a messenger. And when God decides that he don't want me to be a messenger anymore, he'll move me into another direction, just like he's moved me in various directions without, throughout my life. 
but y'all can't it's somebody here who feel like they can decide and make somebody stop doing something who are you sit your ass down straight up now god telling you to sit your ass down 15 15 was on the clock when i said that too and i'm dropping the mic i'm dropping it on this one i hope this message helps someone i hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. If you know you ain't doing nothing like this, then you shouldn't have no problem with this message because you know it ain't got shit to do with you. However, if you are in this energy, please take what resonates, okay, and apply it accordingly. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.